In this simple C-sharp console app, we're going to create a function that's going to print out a list of all the subdirectories within a given directory. Now we're using system.io because we'll need to use some of the built-in helper objects that are available to us inside of that system.io. We're going to create a function to encapsulate this. So we're going to specify our function name, get subdirectory list, and we're going to pass in a starting directory. That starting subdirectory, in this example, is going to be the Windows directory. Now you can pick any directory you want. We're going to say at quote c colon backslash windows backslash quote closing parenthesis and semicolon. Now for those of you who are unfamiliar with the at symbol there, it means to treat the string literally and that is to not use the backslashes as an escape character. If we don't use the at symbol, we have to use two backslashes to make sure the backslash shows up. Now you'll notice there's a red underline for get subdirectory list and that's because we haven't written this function yet. So I'm going to put my mouse cursor at the end of our void main and type in static void get sub directory list and we need to take a string parameter for this function and we'll just call it working directory open and close our braces and now we're going to need to create an array of strings to get a list of all those subdirectories so we specify string and use a square bracket to say it's going to be an array and call this directories and I have it plural because it's an array it's going to equal directory now this is a helper object inside of system.io and we're going to call a helper function from system.io as well and that's going to be get directories now get directories is going to get all the subdirectories within a directory which directory you ask well it's going to be the one that we're going to pass into this function that directory is going to be from our variable that we passed into our function get subdirectory list that's working directory, close the parenthesis and semicolon. Now all the directories inside, in our case, Windows, will be listed as a series of strings. However, we need to print these out. So I'm going to create a simple for each loop, and we're going to get one individual string each time we loop through. So I'm going to create a variable. I need to define it as a string. I'm going to call it directory, singular, because we're only doing one in my directories, which is my array. So I'm getting a singular directory out of my array of directories. Now I'm simply going to use the console.write line and I'm going to write my directory. I'm going to save this real quick. Click on my start button so it'll compile and run. And you can see very quickly it comes up with a list of all the subdirectories inside of Windows directory. Now at this time there are no subdirectories to any of these directories. We'll have to go and get those separately. And we'll do that in a follow-up tutorial. For now I have it so we can press enter to continue. This is going to exit. Hope you find this tutorial and using the directory object found within system.io for C Sharp useful to you. If you like these types of tutorials, remember you can find us online at accesstolearn.com and you can follow us on Twitter.